Some people call it a conch piercing. Some people call it a conch piercing. Named after the conch shell. I call it a conch. The conch piercing goes way back. There are some primitive tribes who used to have this pierced. Some for decoration. Some would actually pierce and put sticks in to where it could hold their hair up. Here at Piercing Vegas is one of the most popular piercings that I do. It all depends on what kind of jewelry you're putting in there. If you plan on wearing a hoop or a ring in the future, you need to kind of place it out a little bit and look at the structure of the ear to figure out where the ring would lay most natural. Sometimes cartilage gets in the way, sometimes it's nice soft fleshy lobe, but you gotta find what looks and feels the most natural. If you're just doing a stud and that's all you're gonna wear, you can bring it in, but the most important thing is that it's in the most center part of the ear. Some people like to wear clusters of gems in there, some like to have really large gems, or just a simple little bead. It's up to you, but it's all about the looks. There's no right or wrong. It's what look you want with the jewelry you're going to wear. The conch seems pretty thick for cartilage. It's got to be pretty painful then, huh? Let's check the painometer. A little bit. It stayed up there. It is a little bit painful, but it's really not as bad as you'd expect. Personally, I'd rather have a conch piercing than stub my toe. The conch is pretty protected, so therefore it does heal up nice and quick. When I say quick for cartilage, we're saying four to six months on average. But if you're sleeping on it, it is being irritated and can take longer to heal. Maybe up to a year. One of my favorite things about the conch piercing is the amount of jewelry options that you have. You start off with a barbell, heal it up, and then you can change to a ring, a circular barbell, a seam ring. You can do these elaborate cluster rings, which look amazing going around there. And you can also do something like a gem cluster on the end of a barbell. You have more simple ones. Sometimes they fit nicer like this. Sometimes you're going to have really elaborate ones that fill up the entire conch. Keep in mind, you could also do double piercings, triple piercings in the conch. It's a large surface area to work with, and there's so many options you can do here. It's such an awesome piercing. As far as problems go with this piercing, there's only a couple of them we generally see. If you get pierced with a ring, you're gonna see bumps and you're gonna have it constantly irritated. So just start with the barbell. Now, as far as the problems with the barbell, if you're sleeping on it with dirty pillows, you're touching with dirty hands, of course, that's an issue. But the bigger problems people have is when there's a cluster or a large surface on the front of your conch and you're not cleaning the crusties up underneath them. They're hidden under there, but they do cause problems. The conch piercing is thick, but it's not as painful as you would expect. The conch piercing is also a great starter piercing. Not all piercings I'm going to say are a good starter piercing, but this one you can sleep on fairly soon. You have a lot of jewelry options, and if you take care of it, not too problematic. I originally had my conscience pierced tandemly, which means there's a piercer on both sides piercing them at the same time. It was pretty intense, but it was also pretty intense because I had them pierced at a four gauge and immediately stretched to a two. I wouldn't recommend that at all. A normal conch piercing is really, really easy, and I can attest to this because there are so many people who get this pierced, and everyone has such huge smiles when they're done. It's beautiful jewelry, a lot of options, and I would highly suggest getting it done if you're thinking about it. Now this piercing, if you've ever had a really large gauge, what's the biggest size you've ever had in your conch? Or what was your favorite style of jewelry? Rings or gem clusters? Leave it down in the comments below. 
Well, if you enjoyed my video, give me a like, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification, and I'll see you on the next video.